Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, you lovely lot. It is Sunday and it's gone 12 o'clock. And I've so far managed to stay in bed in my PJs, not doing anything and actually relaxing. But then I came downstairs to make a cup of tea and decided that it would probably be a good idea as the weather is getting cooler to try putting the heater on downstairs, the storage heaters, and, you know, burn off the dusty smell, which then led to this. It's making a strange noise when we turn it on, so we've hoovered it out. Something down here is making an annoying noise. We have sucked out a lot of dust and cobwebs and fluff, but it's still making that noise. So I think in all probability, we need to get somebody in to service it. It's very old. I mean, the house is 20, 30 years old. So that's how old this heater is. Well, the heat is still making a funny noise. I think I need to get someone in to service it, but I've left it on, doing its thing. And I'm now going through these puzzle pieces. This is only a 500 piece puzzle, so it shouldn't take me very long at all. But it will keep me sitting in one spot and not finding cleaning jobs to do. I've ordered for my playroom temporarily, because I haven't got the money to kit the playroom out properly at the moment. Um, but I have ordered a shelving unit to go out there um just sort of an open sort of rustic looking shelving unit to put my plants on because i bought the plants in that were outside we were due a frost last night um and i didn't want to risk them dying off so i want to have more plants out in the playroom is what i want to do keep calling it playroom it's not a playroom anymore is it pip right okay I'm going to get on with this. I'm eating some raisins as well, just what I'm eating. Um, these are from Asda. It's usually These are usually by the fruit section, the fresh fruit and veg section. And they're just snacking raisins, berries and cherries. And they're really juicy, look at this. Look how big and juicy they are. They're huge. Yum. So I'm just going to enjoy those. Oh my goodness, now we all know how fast I am at puzzles. It is 28 minutes past eight and this puzzle is still going. It's because, oh excuse me, there are just so many pieces that are such similar colours. I mean, I know I said I needed to sit and relax and it has definitely made me sit and relax. In all honesty, um, everyone's been self-sufficient today. Kenzie's been at work for three hours um he had a pot noodle excuse me and some tiger loaf and lee had a pot noodle and some tiger loaf and i was naughty and just had the tiger loaf um i have had fruit i've snacked on various bits of fruit today and three sugar-free biscuits of lee's um i am getting a bit of backache now from sitting here for hours and hours doing this puzzle um, but I am feeling sufficiently relaxed. Tomorrow, I'm also planning on being sufficiently relaxed. I had planned on going tonight and sleeping at Windsor in a car park in Spog and then walking into Windsor. <sighs> and being there for when the Queen's coffin arrives to go to St George's Chapel um, at Windsor Castle where she will be buried. Um, but my friend's been in Windsor today, Virginia, who you guys who watch regularly know, um, and she's in Windsor today with friends, and she said they're closing off the car parks and closing off, unless you've pre-booked a ticket, and they're closing off the roads into Windsor. So she said um, it's probably a good idea that I decided not to go. So, yes, uh, I will watch it from home. Tomorrow, the other thing Lee and I are going to do is go for a walk around the village and do some geocache maintenance on our geocaches. I have, I'm have i looking over there because I've got replacement cache containers for some of them that have got walkabouts. Um, I did replace one not that long ago, like the summer, but that seems to have vanished again. People aren't finding it, so I need to go and investigate that as well. And what else do I need to tell you? Um, oh, I'm trying this um, CBD oil. This is cola flavour. 
50 pounds worth um, but I've been told it's quite good for aches and pains I initially actually got it to help Kenzie with anxiety but he's not keen to take it I don't think he likes the taste of it so I'm trying that but I'm not very good at remembering to take it so I'm going to try and take it at night oh my goodness I'm sorry this is what happens when you sit and don't do anything I'm going to uh, try and take it every night and then every morning and then if I put it near me I might remember to take it during the day as well um, and see if that makes any difference to my aches and pains although to be honest probably my aches and pains are not going to go anywhere until I stop being so active <laughs> let's be honest that's not going to happen anytime soon um, what else do I need to share with you oh I'm going to put a little picture here this is the air fryer that I have just purchased. I was looking at them in Robert Dyer's on Thursday, but I feel overwhelmed, quite honestly, by the choice of air fryers. But I'm being told, left, right and centre, that they are so much cheaper to run. And during this whole energy crisis thing, um, I kind of think I probably should have ordered one. So I have ordered one now because the reviews look very good on it. And it was $39.99 from Robert Dyers. I will stick um, an Amazon link, actually, so you can see the brand as well. I suspect it will be more expensive on Amazon, but if you want to have a look or order one, um, have a look on the Amazon link. And, uh, and if I can find a Robert Dyers link for it as well, I'll do that. But yes, I have. Bless you. Kenzie's sneezing. Um, I have ordered one now, and I'm hoping it will be good it's a halogen air fryer uh it bakes grills does everything wait <sighs> i think i'm gonna have a break from this puzzle and maybe go and have a hug with my man um this is a very short video and probably more chatty than you would like so thank you very much for watching you lovely lot and i'll see you all tomorrow five to eleven i finally finished